Hello, this is going to be a very short video. I'm going to show you, uh, if you're anything like me, you uh, are sometimes looking for a new job or whatever, and you think it's probably a good idea, because as right have, as you have always been in everything you've posted on Facebook, it might be a, it's, it's very possible somebody in, 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 in your new employee ship might not approve of your political stance on this or what you find funny about that. So the recommendation is that uh, you can either try and make your entire Facebook uh, invisible or do as I do, which is see it as a fairly transient thing. And you may as well just delete your entire posting history so that it isn't, doesn't exist there anymore, um, either publicly or privately. It does still protect your photographs, which you can still keep private. Uh, and therefore, when anyone who doesn't know you or who isn't your friend uh, is able to browse your Facebook profile, all they'll get is your front page. So the way to do it is, uh, this is the best way I've found, and I've been searching now for quite a while. Uh, you have to use Chrome. If you're on, a, it, by the way, this is running this on a PC. I'm doing this demonstration on a PC, not a Mac. Please, you may have to investigate your own way if you're doing it on a Mac. Uh, I haven't tested it, uh, but initially, what you got to do is download Chrome um, and uh, download and install Chrome. I'm going to sort of go show you as I go. There's a Mac version there, so it might work. I can't tell. I can't say. You'd then just download it. Uh, download a little installer file. Uh, download the Chrome there, install this. I've already installed Chrome, so uh, I'm not going to, in fact, I'm using Chrome right now, uh, so I'm not gonna do it again. Um, once you've done that, you then need to uh, find a little uh, uh, plugin or an extension, which you can, if you click on the little three dots in the top right corner, I know that's really hard to see, but there's three little dots there. Click that and go down to settings. I think this is what you do. You go to extensions and it can list all the extensions that you've got installed here. I've actually got this Facebook one already installed and I'm just trying to see if I can see it there. I can't. Install a list, by the way. Add guard, add block. Very good. Never see those horrible adverts anymore. There it is. It's called, um, and they've taken the word ace out of the title because Facebook protested. So uh, this is Fbook post manager so you could uh, if you wanted to find it just do a search for facebook post manager uh good thing about chrome is the search box is also the address bar and then there it is right at the top uh, so just follow these instructions add it to chrome uh, and just follow the instructions and once it's done you'll probably have to restart chrome once it's installed but once it's in there you'll see this little blue icon here i'll see if i can zoom in on that for you uh, we just, uh, zo oh, I can't zoom in, sorry. I can't, can I? Oh, maybe I can, no, I can only zoom in on a page. I can't actually zoom in on that. There's a little blue icon there, which when I click it, it tells, uh, please navigate to Facebook in the active tab. That will appear once it's installed. Click OK. So then you go to your Facebook page, which I have a Facebook page here. It's not mine, but uh, I have it. Uh, and then you click that again. Oh, look, it's completely different. Now, I'm going to actually uh, remove everything, but I'm going to wait until this evening to remove everything. So I'm just going to do everything for the month of May 2017. Um, so all you do is you can choose the year that you want to delete, uh, and you can choose the month that you want to delete, or you can just choose select all if you want to delete them all. So I'm just going to pick May. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave these two blank because I want it to remove everything, uh, but it might be a person's name of somebody you want to remove there. So you you can just like type in oh janet what was i saying about janet oh i better remove everything i said about oh, oh janet she's not gonna be my friend anymore if she sees it i better delete it before she gets back oh oh you can choose a speed here now i'm not quite sure but it seems to think that if you ask it to do it too fast it might skip some or not not, not do some i think uh, i'm gonna leave it on the default um and then i'm just gonna crack on now when i've done this you'll see something appears at the top of your facebook page here let me just show you uh, uh, it's asking you to confirm because this is a big deal. Okay, right, you can't actually see it there. It's, it says scanning at the top, and it is, you can see it's kind of like just, I'm not doing anything with a mouse. I'm just sitting here staring at the screen as you are right now, and it is like slowly deleting all my hideously offensive posts that are going to stop me getting a job. Um, oh, it's asking me to confirm to delete. Oh, this is exciting. So this is just all me. Confirm to delete. Uh, confirm. Oh, and it's now doing it. So it's now deleting 
everything from me and I will get that job that I won't be prejudiced against. This is fantastic news. I uh, hope you found this helpful. How to delete all of the nonsense and opinions that you've been pushing to the world out there on Facebook. A very simple tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like, subscribe. <laughs> get me on Twitter. I'm at Flocktus Flood. I hope this has been useful to you. And thank you and goodbye. I'm going to delete you now. I'm going to delete you from my life. <laughs>